Hi, my name is JW and I've been looking to find ways to do vlogging uh, somehow, somehow constructively. I've been blogging since 10 years ago in different formats and I've loved the format of seeing how your thought part patterns develop and so forth. But I haven't found the proper platform for me to do vlogging. Um, I find that I've been yearning to do it. Uh, I've been really scared of doing it because this is my face, my voice, my thoughts, and I'm pretty much not editing anything. I might be cutting away some bits, but I'm not editing, I'm not doing retakes and so forth. And I've been kind of hung up on the idea of making everything perfect. But now finally, uh, the thought struck me that what I could do is also help myself in this learning process. Uh, in two weeks, I'm going to start the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification process, which basically for me means 30 days of labs, uh, the penetration testing with Kali Linux course, uh, which basically is eight hours of videos 300 something page PDF uh, how to manual but that's the step one of this entire process uh, the next 30 days from that starting at the eight, end of uh, February now will consist of me trying to get into legally get into uh, dozens of machines using different exploit techniques uh, brute forcing whatever I don't know uh, and this vlog is more like my thought process my path to OSCP hopefully uh, here I would document what I've learned today or this week I don't know how frequently I'm doing these uh, uh, of course I'm aiming for daily but I don't know if I have daily input on things I've learned but at least I could share some ideas, links, tips on things I've learned. And hopefully maybe someone in the future might benefit from these, or at least uh, me five years from now will get a kick out of uh, listening to these vlogs and myself uh, being under a lot of stress during March uh, and those labs. So yeah, welcome to my first episode on the path to OSCP and my first tip of the day is if you need to do any sort of data processing on text files for example CSV files like Nessus uh, vulnerability scan outputs and so forth if you're able to save the for example Nessus or OpenVAS results in a CSV file you can very easily import them into an SQLite database just say SQLite database name uh, dot mode CSV dot import your CSV file space table name enter that's it now you have a table populated with the correct headers from the CSV file and all of your Nessus or OpenVAS data in that database then you are able to for example import a second table uh, your previous results before you started fixing stuff or after you have fixed stuff and with some simple SQL magic you are able to get the differential of removing from the original set all of those findings that are not in the next set the post fix set and that way you should be able to uh, figure out what patches still need fixing um, and that's it for tip one uh, day one let's see how it goes thanks